Welcome back to another video. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Joss and welcome to Collecting with Joss. In today's video, yes, it is different. It is not lounge fly. Guys, I am back into makeup. We have a makeup haul. I've been addicted <laughs> buying every single palette I see. Not really. I know how to calm down. I know the shades and colors I really love. So that's what I've been mainly going for. I do have a couple of the new ColourPop palettes that just came out and I cannot wait to show you guys that. Also, today I went to Marshalls and picked up a super cute bag that is just perfect for spooky season and also for winter time. Christmas, hello, it's perfect. I think I'll start off with the smaller things, so like the bag, and I lied, I do have one launch fly item. It is not a bag, but it is a cute card holder. I am ahead, I know. I bought the super cute gingerbread scrump card holder. I couldn't resist. This is just freaking adorable. It is a huge card holder it's almost the size or i'm pretty sure it is the size of the beetlejuice sign um here's the beetlejuice sign one yeah they're pretty much the same height but this one's huge just love how big scrump looks and his bow applique he's adorable he has embroidered buttons here this part's embroidered and these buttons as well on the back you have the lounge fly plaque and you have some candy and I just love the colors, the brown, the dark brown, super cute. You do have gold hardware and the inner lining, a little hard to see. There is Angel and Stitch Huggy and they're also gingerbread cookies. Very fun, very festive. This is perfect for Christmas. You guys can also buy this and gift it to somebody or perfect for stocking stuffers. I found it at Box Lunch and it was only $24.90. I had to get them. I know Halloween hasn't even passed. Everything's already hitting stores. Like, please, Christmas, slow the crap down because I love Halloween. I just can't. <laughs> I finally put my costume together and I'm so excited for it. It's going to be something very simple but it's gonna be sexy of course I found a witch hat at CVS or Walgreens one of those two I think it was Walgreens but I found this super cute hat because I will be alpha buff from wicked I'm doing my makeup and wearing the witch hat if you guys don't follow me on Instagram please do so I'll have it down here on the screen for you guys I'm gonna post lots of pictures cannot wait to see how the full costume looks with my makeup and everything you guys I'm not gonna look green I'm not gonna do the full green look because what I'm wearing would have to like I would have to all be green arms my legs everything there's gonna be a lot of skin exposed and I cannot do that I don't have patience to turn myself all green like no it's gonna be super cute go ahead and follow me on Instagram to be able to see those pictures next week all right let's get into the bag because I am obsessed with this bag I, I don't know why but I love it it's so simple but cute here it is and she's pretty it's giving dude this is freaking soft like what this can be my pillow found it at marshall's for 19.99 i'm obsessed obsessed please turn this bag into some boots some matching boots with this bag <laughs> It would be really pretty. It's a tiny bag. There's not a lot of space. Who cares? We don't need the space. It's just, it's giving. And we just want it to look cute. It is pretty deep. I will say that. It is a deep bag. I'm pretty sure I can squeeze everything in here without a problem. Oh, and it comes with the long strap. I didn't even see this. The stuffing was covering it, so I didn't see it. But it does come with a longer strap. Ugh, I don't care. I think I'm going to use it like this. Like, excuse me me oh, love the top handles i don't even need the long strap love 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 I'm about to put some charms on this speaking of charms i did go to tj and i found the perfect charm for this bag like let me share let me share it is from betsy johnson yup diamond out spider bag clip are you kidding Hitting uh, super sparkly just how I love it. I'm putting this on the bag like right now. Yeah <laughs> This was $16.99. Let's go ahead and see how the bag looks with this clip on. Oh my god. I was having trouble I was about to cry. I hope it doesn't look ratchet the clip 
is a little too small and the strap is huge so I had to tie this on for it to stay and actually look cute don't look at this this looks a little ghetto oh my god but this get out get out oh my god this is gonna be my bag for the rest of the month I feel like I need to add something else on this side. Forget that right now. Look, it's a spider on the back. <laughs> this is just how I pictured it, too. This is going to be my bag now. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> All right, never mind. I found a black tie and you can't see it. Ah! All right, I need to stop. <laughs> Here she is. My bag is ready to be robbed. Oh my god! This is the best purchase I've made today. <laughs> Alright, it is time for the makeup haul. I got distracted with that bag. I'm so in love with it. I didn't realize how much palettes I have and I have a good amount now. I used to do my makeup back in high school and high school is when I started doing full eyeshadow everything and then once my senior year came I stopped completely i wish i never stopped because i'm pretty sure by now i would have been pro at doing my eyeshadow pro <laughs> i loved it i don't know why i stopped i guess i just gave up like i didn't have the patience anymore for it oh my god all my palettes are falling but yeah i got back into it and i'm obsessed with every single palette i have let's start with this nyx beetlejuice palette this is one that i already had i got this right before the movie came out theaters door supposed to be the door and it only has eight colors they're super cute for it just being eight colors i did use this pink shade already which is bio exorcism and then the one on top is afterlife forever i use these two i have a picture with these two on it looks so good but i haven't used winter river or this black one down here which pretty sure soon i'm gonna do it packaging is adorable on this side you have the other side of the door and it says your number and there's the ticket super cute the packaging is amazing i love the little beetle over here there's another one on this side so yeah this one i already had right after this one i went ahead and bought this corpse bride one this one i found at tj maxx and it is lenticular from the front the colors on this palette are amazing like what here you do have a mirror and it has some butterflies on the corners but let's talk about the colors yes my favorite out of this palette favorite colors has to be baby breath moonlight cold feet and butterfly so pretty much these right here on the outside are my absolute favorite i already used this blue one and it's super pretty but yeah the packaging is absolutely amazing what brand is this beauty creations this is from beauty creations i've never heard of them first palette from that makeup brand yeah <laughs> i need to get better at doing these makeup videos because i'm just not I'm not a pro i'm not i just throw colors on and hope for the best the next palette i ended up picking up is from ColourPop. And I found this one at Target, and it's the Haunted Mansion. Here on the front, it says, Welcome Foolish Mortals. ColourPop kills it every single time. Once you take it out, in the packaging, it says, There's no turning back now. Right there in the middle. The front of this palette is iridescent. And on the back, you have some ghosts. The colors on this side. I forgot what colors I used in this, um, but on the top it says beware, and here's the gargoyles. These colors are actually really pretty. <laughs> I want to say I used ghost toast, which there's some blue in there, I don't know why. I used hitchhikers for sure. I don't think I've used anything else. Oh, and hat, hat box. I used this one already too. But I believe this is still on the site if you guys are interested in this ColourPop palette. It should still be there. Next palette I ended up buying is this super cool Willy Wonka one. I found this one at Marshalls and it's from X Revolution. 
I guess they had a whole Wonka collection. I'm not sure. I just found the palette there. Like I said, I'm not all that on makeup. I just get what I see and find. The packaging is super cool because in the inside, it comes with a Wonka golden ticket. Just like you would with the candy bars. On this ticket, it says, greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. Present this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your own family and only one, but no one else. In your wildest dreams, you cannot imagine the marvelous surprises that await you. Shiny. Love that. And then, of course, the palette. Love that this goes together. Here's the shiny palette and the colors in this are also very pretty like simple colors. I wanted these November. Like these are like fall colors to me but I see them as that and I can see myself wearing these the month of November for sure. Now these are not are they? They don't have names. I just realized that. The colors don't have names but on the back they are numbered. Huh. I don't know. This Wonka palette was $10. This next palette is one of my faves. I've been using it non-stop. And yes, it's also the colors that I have on right now. This palette is the absolute bestest by far. My favorite packaging and all. Super cool. And it is Stranger Things also from ColourPop. Y'all killed the packaging on this. This is supposed to be the TV. How freaking cool. And then on the back, you have the colors, of course. Let's just let's just get into it. As soon as you open it up, look at this. What? We're entering the upside down. Y'all killed it, ColourPop. Y'all do this all the time. When you open it up, you have a demo gorgon at the top, and it says ColourPop and Stranger Things right there. Let's talk about these colors right here. They are gorgeous. I've been using almost every single color in here. I think there's only like three, four colors that I have not used so far. Lie five. <laughs> but I love every single color in here so far. And I've been using this palette almost every single day. Like today. The colors that I have on are D&D. &D, and I use that on my crease. And then right in the middle, I believe I use Gone Missing, which is this like orange sparkly one right here. And then in my inner corner, I use this super cute green one that's Castle Fires. This green one. Every single color in this palette is super cute and is by far my favorite so far out of all my palettes because I've been using it every day, like I said. And if I had to pick one color, to use every single day <laughs> has to be this red one hawkins love it and of course demo gorgon these two together you're gonna thank me later get this palette if you're a spooky gal you love dark colors you're gonna love this palette all right i think it is time to move on to my ulta haul and i went to ulta last night and i got a couple new things i think we're gonna start off with the wicked because wicked is popular starting off with this really cool wicked lip oil it is ph active lip oil so it changes color i guess depending your color i don't get it <laughs> my friend alisa explained it on the youtube live we had the other day on danielle's youtube channel she was better at explaining it but i'm just obsessed with the packaging the way this comes like wow the bottle to me looks like a wand a crystal wand wow 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 and the color in here is clear with glitter but once you put it on it turns pink should i put it on i guess i shall put it on let me show you guys how this works i clean my lips off so right now i'm naked from my lips but we're gonna see this go from clear to pink Okay, so right now it is clear and I guess very slowly it starts changing color. Let's give it a minute. 
there it goes. It's turning pink. I'm obsessed with this. I love this. Clean it up a bit. There it is. It went from clear to pink. I love this lip oil. The only thing that sucks about this lip oil is the price. You guys, it is $20. Yeah, crazy. That's because it's from my girl, Ariana Grande. Oh, would you look at that? The name is so popular. The next thing I got from the Wicked collection is, of course, the most popular thing is the palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. The day that I saw it, at Target. I was like, there's no way I cannot walk out with this. I need this. I have to have this. I fell in love. I really did. Let's give it a moment because look at this packaging. It has a mirror. I'm obsessed. What I mainly care about is the colors. Are you kidding? I don't want to touch it. It's too pretty, but wow. When I tell you wow, I'm not joking. Look at these colors. Let's do, let's do the, the green one right here. Look at this green color. Let's do this one in the corner right here. You cannot tell me these colors are to die for. These colors are like, look at this one. This one's called Perfectly Pink. Oh my gosh. Perfectly Pink. Yeah. The only thing I can complain about is the price. It was $55. $55. It was worth it. <laughs> look at that. Just wow. Literally just wow. I just cleaned it off. And even on here it looks so good. I cannot wait to wear those. Um, I am using the green on Halloween to do my makeup, so I cannot wait to see how that looks on. I'm so excited. So yeah, that was the Wicked palette and Wicked lip oil. Would I buy these again? Absolutely. I do. I hate the price. Yes, I do. I really <laughs> do. That was worth it. Y'all make sure to check out the Wicked collection at Ulta. It is freaking amazing. Last and final thing, this dropped yesterday at Ulta and I just happened to be there, okay? I turned to the corner and I was like, hold on, you're coming home with me. I was looking at it, saw everything, took a good look because I had to see like what I wanted, what I didn't, what I would use. I just wanted it all, but I know I wouldn't use it all, so I had to pick and choose and it's so hard but it is the frosty the snowman ColourPop collection this just dropped yesterday at ulta and you guys like i said i'm ahead i'm getting ready for christmas already Jeez, this is too fast but i'm obsessed with the colors obsessed. look at this packaging though we have frosty right here in the middle the way they show the colors like come on on snowflakes so pretty at the top you have frosty here i love how they added him front back everywhere these colors are so pretty this is giving what is it giving this is giving ice princess to me yeah that's what these colors are giving they're so pretty so smooth cool how can you not how can you not walk away from this i couldn't walk away and i had to leave with it i don't regret it I love it. Moving on to the lip kit from the same collection. We have a lip liner and lipstick here. The packaging is also very pretty and it's called Snow Much Fun. I think that's what this color is, Snow Much Fun. Oh, okay, the colors are back here. See, I'm not good at this. <laughs> the pencil is called Magic Cat. And then the lipstick is called Silly Snowman. Oh my god. Packaging is iridescent. You can barely see that. But it's Frosty's hat and it says Frosty the Snowman color pop down here. There is snow, snowflakes on the sides. The color is very pretty. I do regret not getting the other color. I don't know why I didn't get it. But let's go ahead and swatch it right here. 
That is the lipstick. Kind of like a red, not a deep red. And here is the lip liner. I love the color. I love a deep red. I feel like deep red already looks really good on me. So that's why I went with this color. The other one was like a nude type of pink. Sometimes it's a hit or miss with my skin tone. The next thing I got from this collection and is also the final thing is the pumping gloss trio. This is super cool. I used one of these colors today. I believe it was this light pink one right here. It's called Feeling Like Frosty, and I was literally obsessed. The packaging is also super cute. You got Frosty, the kids, and on the back you have the names of the glosses, which I'll go ahead and tell you as I take them out. The one I used today is this one, and it's called Feeling Like Frosty. This one in the middle is called All Melted. I feel like this color is very similar to this last color in here. They should have made it something different. This last one's super pretty. It has glitter. I don't know if you can see that. This one's called Frozen. All these are super pretty. These are the two that I think look almost exactly the same when they're on but by all means i love them all i can't complain this collection's super cute and yes it is flying off the shelves from ulta i heard it is coming to target so if you guys love the palette or the lipsticks lip glosses go ahead make sure you guys check out your ulta target asap because it is flying off the shelves i went back today for this other lip kit that i didn't get and it was gone. All sold out. Everything. They didn't even leave a sponge. <laughs> Nothing. It was all gone. If there's something you want to get, make sure you get it right then and there because it's going to go. These are also perfect for stocking stuffers. Ending this video with some bubble bar earrings that I found last night. I finally found these babies. Drum roll. <laughs> I found the Toy Story earrings from bubble bar, you guys. I screamed found them at freaking marshall's for $12.99 and they are adorable i did see a tiktok on these i kept going i kept going and checking the earrings every day i couldn't find them but my marshall's finally got them and put them out so freaking late all right you guys we have came to the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed everything that i showed i tried showing the makeup as good as i could not really good at showing makeup like that i need to get better at that also need to get better at doing my makeup because i feel like this could be way better such a slay if i didn't stop doing my makeup anyways thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!